Hello guys, in this video EasyFlight will explain you about one of the four forces of flight that slows aircrafts down. And yeah, it's not the FAA, it's drag. We will start with parasite drag and divide it in its three kinds. Interference drag, skin friction drag, and form drag. And then we will introduce a more complex one which is called induced drag. Let's begin. Interference drag is created when the airflow around one part of the airplane interacts and generates friction with the airflow around an adjacent part. The greatest amount of interference drag usually occurs where the wing joins the fuselage of a low wing airplane. Air travels at a higher speed across the top of the wing due to Bernoulli's principle in comparison with the air flowing along the fuselage. When these currents of air interact against each other, drag is generated. It can also happen where there are sharp angles such as the connection between the landing gear struts and the fuselage. As air flows around different aircraft components and mixes, a shock wave is formed that produces more drag than the component itself. Skin friction drag is the result of the aircraft surface being rough and not smooth. Air molecules give up some of their kinetic energy as they contact the skin surfaces of the airplane. Rivets found on the fuselage generate friction with the air flowing over the wing, as well as with the ridges used to reinforce the flight controls. Everything that sticks out into the airstream creates form drag. Antennas, struts, landing gears, door handles, and so on. Form drag is the result of an object's general shape in relation to the relative wind. The turbulent wake caused by the separation of airflow from the surface of a structure is what causes this type of drag. It's similar to the feeling you get when you stuck your hand out of the window. The more you open your hand into the wind, the more drag you'll feel. That's why an essential part of aerodynamic design is to try to make objects as streamlined as possible. As you can see in the video, sharp edges and squared surfaces leave more drag behind as opposed to smoother and rounded areas. Induced drag is a byproduct of lift and I'll explain you guys how it happens. As part of aerodynamics we know that the lift vector will always act perpendicular to the relative wind. But as the relative wind rolls off through the trailing edge, it will be pushed down or angled down by the wing to vortices and the downwash from your wing. And since we know that the lift vector will always form a 90 degree angle with the relative wind, the lift vector will also move rearward, acting against the forward motion of the airplane. Wing tip vortices start dissipating when we get close to the ground. Without vortices pushing the relative wind down, the induced drag produced by the wing will decrease. This chart shows you the percentage of induced drag the aircraft will have as you get close to the runway. The closer you are to touchdown, the less induced drag you will experience. This is what we call ground effect. This decreasing drag will increase the speed of the air through the wings and you will feel this boosting lift that allows the aircraft to smoothly settle in the runway. An aircraft experiences ground effect when they are within one wingspan from the ground. As an example, a 172 SP has a 36 feet wingspan. So when the aircraft is only 10 feet from touchdown, it will experience 75% of its normal induced drag. It's worth noting the relationship between induced drag and parasite drag. The higher the aircraft speed, the more parasite drag it will produce, but the less induced drag it will have. This has to do with the fact that at higher speeds, the aircraft will need a lower angle of attack to develop lift, and lower angles of attack result in less pressure differentials above and below the wing, less vortices, and therefore less induced drag. And of course the opposite will happen with lower speed. The aircraft will experience less parasite drag since the air molecules will be traveling at a slower speed over the aircraft structure, but there will be more vortices produced due to an increase in angle of attack which will also increase induced drag. And that's it guys, parasite and induced drag easily explained. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to check our other courses at myeasyfly.com.
Thanks for watching.